Hey guys, this is Nostalgia. So, this is going to be kind of a weird video. We're going to be taking a look at my cow farming blizzard sorceress. This is going to be very similar gear to what I showed off in my first Ancient Tunnels video. If you want a more in-depth look at that gear, you can just check out that video. So on the Merc, we got Insight, Gladiator's Bane, and a Vampire Gaze. Ideally, this would be F, and you'd probably want a Sham Rune in it, so that your Merc um, can still deal effective damage consistently, as in does not get frozen. With a Gladbane, ideally this would be Ethereal, and you probably wouldn't stick an Omru in it, you'd probably stick an All Res Jewel in it. Uh, it doesn't really matter for me anyway, because I farm lower Karost a lot, so Omru isn't really worth anything to me. And like I said, this is going to be really similar gear to what I showed off in the first Ancient Tunnels vid. We got Chance Guards and War Travs. We got a Crafted K or a Faster Cast Right Ring with 20 life and Dual Res. We got this belt here. Now, you're probably going to be using an Arachnid Mesh. Uh, you probably don't have a belt like this if you're playing single player. So what you probably want to do is just use Arachnid Mesh and switch out this ring for a faster cast rate rare ring with dual res. Now, if you do that, you might want to go for the 105 breakpoint because that would probably put you pretty close if you're using a lot of the other gear I'm using. I'm only going for the 63 breakpoint because given how Blizzard works with its large AoE damage, you can deal damage in a large area. And it's the faster cast rate doesn't matter as much as it does with like a light sword, for instance. So I'm only going with the 63. If you're using Arachnid Mesh and a faster cast rate rare with resistances to make up for your resistances, then you might want to go for the 105 if you get really close to hitting it. And you could get more FCR from your amulet. Mine only have six FCR. I'm using a caster amulet. A spirit. Of course, Death's Fathom gives me a ridiculous amount of damage, as you can see. Uh, Scalder's Ire and Shaco for Magic Find and other nice things that these give. Um, this Crafted Caster Amy, I'm really just using for the Sork skills and the Magic Find, since I'm only hitting the 63 breakpoint. You can see I hit that anyway. Now, this is a very Magic Find focused build. Let me explain. Now, t I'm going to be playing on players 8. However... This build is very inclined towards magic finding. It's sort of a, I don't know, it's sort of a standard farming build, except we're, except it's set up where I'm doing cows with it. I mean, I use the same build for like farming chaos and ancient tunnels, and that sort of thing. But we're going to be using a very similar setup from the ancient tunnels video, just in cows for very similar purposes. Okay. So, oh, and you can see I get 437 MF with this setup. Now, cows are not a level 85 area. The secret cow level in Hell difficulty is a level 81 area. However, that's fine for me since I'm not really focusing on TC-87s at the moment. And normally the portal is not this well guarded. I can uh, just let you know about that right now. Normally not nearly this well guarded, but we made it in. If there's some odd cuts in this video, uh, I keep having to teleport around a lot to get this wart's leg. And I keep clicking out of the window accidentally because of that. So if you see some kind of strange looking cuts in the video, that's why. Let me just get some of this garbage out of my inventory. Okay. So yeah, the thing with the secret cow level is there is really high density in there. Like, if you've... I mean, if you've been playing this game for any significant amount of time, you probably know what the monster density is like in there. It's not level 85. Like I said, it's only level 81, but... And I forgot to grab a tome. But it works for my purposes. I'm trying to farm mainly runes. That's, that's pretty much the main reason I'm doing this, but also you can get a fair bit of decent charms from doing this, and also some rune word bases. 
I've also gotten some really interesting finds, like some mid-level uniques, and some even higher level stuff. Of course, you can't, to my knowledge, you can't get TC-87s in here. But I've still gotten some decent items from this. For example, I got my Seraph's Him from here, I got my Talrash's Amulet. I also got my first Nightwings from here, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh yeah, also, um, I'm playing on Player's 8 right now, and that's to maximize my chances of getting runes, uh, rune word bases, and uh, some decent charms, mainly for runes. That's the number one reason I'm farming these guys over other areas, is for runes, although, if you want... This is only a variety thing. This is not the most efficient way of getting any particular rune. If you want the most efficient way of getting runes up to Jaw, you're going to want to run Lower Garrost. And if you want the most efficient way of getting runes above Jaw, then you're going to want to farm Travancall. And you can do both of those things just fine on a Blizzard Sorceress as well. So, like I said, I'm playing on Player's 8, and since I'm using Death's Fathom and I'm getting really decent jam damage, I'm just kind of annihilating these guys. And I'm going to pick that up, because I don't see that one very often, and I don't have a lot of them. I don't even know if I'm going to use it, really, but there it is. But, yeah, if you're using gear like I'm using, even on Player's 8 difficulty, which, like I said, is what I'm doing here you're going to be dealing some pretty heavy damage on these guys. Now what I would recommend doing is focusing pretty much not at all on the smaller groups, really solely on large groups like this. And make sure to keep up on your battle orders, because this is a really... As you can see, this is a really dangerous area. Uh, it's especially difficult if you're playing in windowed mode like I am. Slight, that's definitely a recommendation, is if you're doing this on Player's 8, do not play in Window Mode, because it is very difficult, and there's a decent chance I'm going to die here. And I really don't want to die, because I'm, as you can see, I'm most of the way to a level, most of the way to actually level 96 here. That's one of the major downsides to this area, is that it, it, it is extremely dangerous. When I'm doing this... Like, I usually do it in full screen, though. I tend to not have a problem, though, with um, defense. I, I tend to do pretty well in that department. Pretty much the most important thing is just that you keep up on your battle orders. If you're playing this on, like, Players 3, then you don't really have to worry about it as much. And I'm, I haven't been doing this so much because I'm recording right now and I'm trying to focus on not dying and also the commentary, but what you want to do, I'm just going to show this off, for really high kill efficiency is drop a blizzard and then spam your static field to whatever, well I'm not going to go into the hotkeys, um, I don't know, I, whatever hotkeys you use are just going to be based on what you can access rather quickly. Let's see here. A little gameplay. And I pick up a lot of really weird random items. I don't know, some people like to play Pluggy a lot differently than others. Some people might just only pick up like uniques and sets and high runes pretty much. So you can expect to find some decent rune word bases from here. Let's see, is this F? No, it is not. Let me see here. And since I'm playing on Player's 8, so many items actually drop that I tend to have to go back to town in the middle of the run, which can be pretty inconvenient, actually. I probably should have dropped off that shield, but whatever.
Oh yeah, by the way, I usually don't have to use many potions on this at all, but since I'm recording in window mode, it's it's actually way harder. <laughs> um, but when you're doing this full screen, normally it should be fine. I, I pretty much never have a problem with uh, defense. I, I really don't even have to use that many potions normally when I'm doing this. But as you can see, um, what you want to do, drop a blizzard and then static a bunch of times, and that takes them down really quickly. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole cow run on video here, I might. We'll see what happens. I might just stop it in the middle of this. Another thing is that you tend to want to focus on larger groups if you're focusing on runes, especially. And just in general, because well, it's, it's sort of like any other area, you're going to want to focus on large groups, or also boss packs are fine too. Although I don't really focus... well, I do sort of focus on boss packs somewhat. They, I mean, they sort of just mix in with everything else. I mean, all these cows, they all look exactly the same so <laughs> yeah I mean unless they have an aura you're gonna have a pretty hard time telling what's a boss pack and what's not unless you're hovering over everything but that's nearly a full run so I think that's pretty much the whole run that's pretty much all of them that I would uh, focus on as you can see like this these smaller groups here I just leave these behind it's 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 not efficient to go for them okay so that was some um, players eight blizzard sort cow farming for magic finding and but mainly runes i hope you guys enjoyed that have a good one